Today we are doing a short workout that you can do in a hotel room. Here we go. So I am traveling right now and one thing that keeps me feeling good when I travel is regular movement. So I'm going to show you a short routine that you can do when you are very limited on space. So we're going to start just walking in place. So this is going to be a short routine that you could do daily throughout your travel days. And specifically, I'm showing you some things that you can do in a small space when you probably don't really have a wall available to you. You don't have a lot of room to move around and you want to stay somewhat quiet for your hotel room neighbors. All right. So just another kind of moment here walking in place. I don't know about you, I never sleep great in hotels, so having this to be able to wake up and just move helps me a lot. When I do travel on my own, it tends to be for business, so I'm sitting in meetings all day, so it just helps me to get my energy up and get my body moving. Okay, so let's go ahead and come back down. Bring your hands to your waist and lift your right knee up and lower it back down. So right knee down. So we're going to do kind of a full body movement routine here for strength and mobility. Again, it'll help you feel good when you're traveling, whether you've been on a road trip driving a lot, whether you're not sleeping well, whether you're having a great trip and you just need a little movement before heading out the door, this will serve that purpose. Okay, on this one, bring the knee up, open it, lower, bring it forward. So we're doing these hip circles that you guys know I love. So this is hip mobility, but it also is great for balance and work on the other side. So if you need to hang on to a chair or any kind of counter, go right ahead. All right, change directions. You're gonna turn it out, lift, forward, and down. So again, hang on to anything you need for balance here. You can always put on your shoes as well if you want. You can do this with tennis shoes on. Nice job. And just switch sides. So the right foot goes right under your hip. We're just going to lift the left and down. So the key is to kind of not worry so much about the rules and if you're doing all of this exactly right. The key is just to move, right? You're in a small space. You're traveling. You're probably busy. Just get your body moving in whatever way works for you. Okay, now we're gonna go into those circles. So you're gonna lift the left leg up, open, lower, forward. Nice, one more. And switch directions. And many of you watching, especially in my unlimited community, you've heard me talk about how often I do movement like this. I will do it in the airport when I'm waiting for the plane. I will do it, as I lose my balance there, I will do it in the back of the plane when I'm traveling. I will stand up and do it in a meeting. One more. So this is going to be really valuable. Oh, nice job. Walk it out. Step your feet about shoulder distance apart, hands behind your head. And then bend your knees just a little, just so you have soft knees here. And you're going to rotate to your right and then rotate to your left. And you can let those hips rotate with you. We're really just kind of letting our body move and swing a little bit. Back to center and lean over to the right and back up and then left and back up. Just opening those ribs. Okay, let's take that into a circle as well. So I want you to lean over to the right, then forward with your spine round forward, come over to the left and restack and switch directions. So go to the left, round, forward to the right, and back up. So I'm just circling kind of from my mid back down. My low back is just hanging out. It's not moving much right now. One more. And back up. Nice job. 
arms down at your sides. Bring them up. Reach up. And then bring them back down. Awesome job. So we're actually going to head down to the floor. I have a mat that I'll show you, but you can also just use a towel or you can lay in bed and I'll meet you there. So I have this travel exercise mat that comes with me many places I go and I've had it for years. So I will link it below in case you're interested in something like this. It's very, very thin. It's easy to travel with. And so it just helps me when I, I am traveling, get some movement in. But again, you can just use a towel or just do this in bed if you don't want to get down on the floor. So let's come on to all fours. And I'm going to have my hands underneath my shoulders knees underneath my hips and go ahead and round your spine inhale to arch one more each direction and then come back to center and spread your knees just a little wider and reach that left arm up towards the ceiling then swing it forward inhale bring it up Exhale back. Inhale up. Exhale forward. So these big kind of semi-circles in the air with that arm. So we're getting great work in the right arm, the one that's still touching the ground. And then again, continuing that idea of mobility in your spine and your shoulders. Okay, bring it all the way back down. Left leg is going to reach back behind you. Point your toes. Lift it up and down. So keep pressing away from your hands so that you're not sinking in your back. So we're working through our core, through our arms, and both legs here. Four, three, two. Keep it here. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five four, three, two, one, and swing that leg forward. So I'm going to take my right knee back a little more, and then I'm just going to shift my weight back and inhale forward. So you can pad your knees as much as you need to. Again, doing this in bed is just fine. You might want a little more support for your hands because it sometimes feels a little more unstable. But just remember, the key is movement. If you want to throw your shoes on, go ahead. I know we all feel different about moving in hotel rooms. I just want to work with the space I have, and I don't want it to stop me from moving my body. So I'm going to find ways to do it within the constraints of where I am at any given time. Nice job. Let's swing that leg back. Come back to all fours, and your right arm is going to lift up. And then we're going to bring it forward, lift it up, exhale back, inhale up, exhale forward. And I'm already moving around because there's a little table I did not realize was there. <laughs> open, open, open. I'm doing all this personally thinking of 10 hours of sitting that I have to do today. <laughs> but... Even if it was opposite and I was doing 10 hours of walking around an amusement park with my family, this would still feel really good today. Okay, bring that arm down. Right leg comes back. Point the toes. Lift, lower, lift, lower. And honestly, when I am traveling, one of my favorite things to do is walk. Fit it in wherever I can. Last night, again, I'm here for a business meeting. We were going to dinner. Most people were taking an Uber, and I checked, and I said, you know what? It's a beautiful day out. I think I'm going to walk. And it was great, and some people came with me, and we walked and talked, and I got just a great kind of fresh air experience, looking at a different city, getting some steps in. Last two. One, stay here. Pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and swing that leg forward. And then I like to shimmy the left knee back a little bit so I have a little more room. Lean back. Inhale forward. And when you do travel, just remember, give yourself lots of grace. 
lots of patience. You need to work out in the way that works for you in your life during that time, what you need mentally. Maybe you need to get outside and get fresh air. Maybe you just need to stay close to home and find ways to work out in a small space. Traveling, I find, isn't the time to hit my PR, do the heaviest weight I've ever done. It's the time to just work with my life, move every day, enjoy seeing a new place, and then I get back to routine once I'm home. Remember, even 10 minutes a day is better than nothing. All right, nice job. Let's take that leg, swing it back. Find a little child's pose here. And then walk yourself up. And bring your legs around in front of you. So let's have the legs mat distance apart, which would be about two to three feet apart. Pull your toes back towards you. Hands behind your head, sit up nice and tall. Inhale, rotate to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. So you're sitting up as tall as you can, pull the toes back. Getting that oh, amazing stretch. Like I can feel how tight I am from sitting and sleeping in a different bed and all of those things. And then back to center, nice job. Bring your arms down, legs glue together. And we are gonna roll down onto our back. So again, I have this mat that works out for me. Towels would work or just do it up in bed. Inhale tall, exhale curl and roll yourself down. And if you absolutely have no space to lay down, then you just had a great workout with that first portion, right? You can feel awesome about that. So I'm gonna scoop forward a little. We're gonna find ourselves in a bridge position with our feet flat, arms at your sides. Inhale, exhale, curl your tail, roll yourself up. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll down. Working through your spine. And it might just be me, but when I'm traveling and I need to feel just a little grounding, going for a walk does it, and finding a way to just lay on my back. So sometimes I'll just like starfish on the bed on my back for a minute. Or again, if I have something to, that works out that I can do this on the floor, just a few bridges and just a moment to breathe can help so much just recenter so that I can head back out onto my travel day roll down stay here bring your hands behind your head inhale exhale tuck your chin roll yourself up inhale down so now we're going into a crunch or into a chest lift keep your tail down keep your elbows wide chin stays tucked so when you roll up you're looking maybe at your belly button maybe at your knees Okay, on this one, roll up, stay there. Inhale, twist to the left. Exhale, center. Inhale, right. Exhale, center. One more each side. And then roll back down. Nice job. Arms come to your sides. Inhale, we're going to do one more bridge. So curl and roll yourself up. Inhale, nice and big. And exhale, roll yourself back down. And hug both knees into your chest and just let yourself move side to side. And great job. Thank you so much for joining me in my hotel room today. And I will see you on your mat soon.